one in this video we want to talk about the two-way analysis of variance in the data analysis add-ins in the Excel. The data analysis add-ins in the Excel is in the data tab here in the analysis section. If you cannot see the data analysis tools, you have to go to the files options in the add-ins. Press on the go button and then check box these two and then press OK button and then you will see the data analysis here. So in the two-way analysis of variance, we want to see if there is any relationship between two independent variables with the dependent variable. Here in our example, we assume we produce some motors and in the motors, we have some vibration and we want to see if this vibration have any relationship with the power source of the motor and the body material of this motor. Also when we using two-way analysis of variance, we want to see if there is interaction between these two independent variables for producing the motor. So for example, the vibration may differ between using type 2 and steel 2 with the type 2 and aluminium. So here by using two-way analysis of variance, we want to determine three things. First, is there any effects for using different power source on the vibration of the motor? Or is there any difference in the vibration of the motor by using different body material? Or is there any difference in the vibration of the motor by using the combination of the body material and the power source. So for using data analysis toolbox, you should have to click on the data analysis and then you will see there is two ANOVA two factor here. One with the replication and another is without the replication. With the replication means we have more than one sample for each combination of the variables. So here I have the steel and type 2 and I have two samples. And also I have two samples for aluminium for each type as well. So I have replication. I have two samples per each block, per each combination of the type 1 and the and the body material but if I did not have the replication for example if my table be like this I just have one sample for each block I just have one sample for type 1 steel 1 type 2 and steel 2 and so on so there is just these two differences right now we want to use the data analysis with the replication but if you want to use without the replication, they're all simple and it have no big difference. So I use the with the replication tools and then press on the OK button. In the input range, I choose my whole table with the labels type 1, type 2, is still aluminum and plastic. And rows per sample means how many rows I have for each body material in the first variable here I have two rows for, and it means two sample per each block per two sample for a steel type 1 two sample for aluminium type 1 and so on so I just enter number two here and I want to have my report in the new sheet name as ANOVA and then press on the OK button when the report is ready we will see some tables. Here the summary tables are just the summary information for each variable. The first one is for raw, uh, variable steel and for each of the variable two. So type one, type two, type uh, until type five. So it says that, for example, in this table, we have two sample for a steel type 1, two sample for a steel type 2, and in total, we have 10 different samples for a steel, and the summation for each of blocks. Also, uh, we have another table, summary table here, named as total. This is the 
summary information for each of the variables too. So for example, here for uh, variable type 1, I have 6 different samples. I can see there is a 6 different samples for type 1 and there is for example the summation is 90.4 as you can see 90.4 and so on so these are just summaries but the last and the important table is ANOVA table in the ANOVA table we have SS it means that sum of the squares for each sample, columns, traction and within the sample in the Excel means that the variable 1 I name it V1. The V1 in the in our table here are still aluminum plastic. So if you in the cells in the first column, it means that these are the categorization for the variable one. And the columns means that the variable two. So here the type source the power source is the variable 2 the, the categories of the variable 2 are placed in the columns in the next column so the first column is for variable 1 and the other columns is for variable 2 and the interaction means that the blocks for variable 1 and the variable 2 so in our table each of these are one block we can assume these are one block these are the attraction numbers so if i have no replication the interaction number will be one for each samples so uh the within means that in the ANOVA analysis is e so if i have sse it means we have SS within in the Excel. So the sum of a score for variable 1, the sum of a score for variable 2, the sum of a score for interaction variable 1 of var and variable 2, and the SSE, the sum of a score of errors. And the total is the sum of a score of total means that the sum of a score of all numbers and we have degree of freedom, the degree of freedom in the analysis of variance and for example the degree of freedom of total it means that the all samples all numbers we have which is counted as 30 we have 30 and minus 1 which is 29 after that we have ms which means that mean of sum of a score the average of the sum of the score for sample variable 1 variable 2 and variable 3 the mean of score is just calculate by dividing the SS by degree of freedom for each of these. And then we have F distribution value. The F distribution values are just calculated simply by dividing the MS to the MSE. So for example, for the first one, we just need to divide the ms of the first one to the last one the mse and for all others we just need to divide each of them so i just need to divide this one to the mse and i have the f values so i need to compare the f values with the f criticals the f critical is the f distribution value that can be read from the f table f distribution table and excel is simply put those numbers here so here if the calculated f distribution this number be more than the f critical then we say the H0 is rejected. But if the F uh, calculated F is less than the F critical, we say H0 is not rejected. So what it means? If the H0 is not rejected, it means this a variable one has no effects on my dependent variable so here for others 
we have h0 rejected so if the h0 rejected for a variable two it has some effects on the dependent variable and each h0 is rejected for the interaction of variable one and variable two which means that the interaction of the variable one and variable two have some effects on the dependent variables so here in our table we can assume the body material simply have no any effects on the vibration of the motors but the power source have some effects on the vibration on the motor also the combination of the power source and the mat body material has some effects on the vibration in motors thanks for watching the two-way analysis of variants and goodbye in order to watch more training videos please subscribe to our youtube channel diaco otd and if you want to see our products please visit our website diaco.co.uk